ever feel like, I don't know, you're kind of just going through the motions, like you're missing that that sense of awe yeah. you had as a kid? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Well, get ready, because today's deep dive is all about finding that magic in the everyday. I like it. And we've got this uh, this fascinating text called To or Sarah to guide us. Okay. So right off the bat, this text throws out this idea of, get this, first time vision first time vision huh yeah basically like walking into even the most familiar places as if you were seeing them for the very first time i love that you know it's funny because it really ties into how our brains are wired right like our brain they crave efficiency so anything they encounter over and over it gets filed away as known information makes sense and we kind of stop you know truly seeing it it's like how you can walk the same street a million times and never notice that like that weird crack in the sidewalk or that uh, or that one store you know you always pass by but never actually go into exactly so first time vision this is about breaking free from that that mental autopilot you yeah. know making that conscious choice to really pay attention and the cool thing is this text is saying it's not just about noticing quirky details it can actually like impact our well-being no kidding yeah it talks about reducing stress and even like boosting creativity because because when we're seeing things with fresh eyes our minds they're more present right less likely to get uh get caught up in those those anxieties or those same old thought loops okay that makes sense and it, it really connect to that story the text tells about uh what was her name ella ella yeah want to want to refresh our memories on that one totally so Ella, she's this woman who walks through the same park every day. Same route, same trees, you know, total routine. Been there. Right. And then one day she decides, I'm switching things up. She veers off the path and suddenly, boom, she stumbles onto this hidden pathway. And it's not just any path, right? It's like straight out of a fairy tale or something. Totally. Filled with all these wildflowers she's like never even seen before and it's right there hidden in plain sight all along so it wasn't that the path or the flowers just like magically appeared right right it was just that ella she changed how she was seeing things precisely and that's what's so powerful about this idea of first time vision it's not about you know some big dramatic life change it's about finding those little opportunities to shift our perspective in our everyday lives like what kinds of things? Can you give us an example? Oh, I bet you could find something new on your, I don't know, your walk to the coffee shop or even just looking around your own living room. I love that. It's like a, a challenge almost. It is. Challenge yourself to find just one new thing, one small detail or, or a different way the light is hitting something every single day. It's like flexing a muscle. Uh -huh. you know? The curiosity muscle, the more you use it, the stronger it gets. Exactly. And the more you start to see the world around you, not as mundane, but full of, you know, these little hidden gems. See, and I think what's really interesting is the text, it focuses mainly on physical spaces, right? Yeah. But I'm wondering, could we take this idea of first time vision even further? Ooh, how so? What if we applied it to our relationships, to our work, heck, even to our own thoughts and feelings? I love that, like approaching those things with that same sense of wonder and curiosity. Imagine the hidden depths we might discover if we dared to truly see everything and everyone with new eyes. Something to think about, right? Absolutely. Definitely gives a whole new meaning to stopping and smelling the roses, huh? For sure. Love it.